before we move on to the next section, we realized that it wouldn't be a speak about an event if we didn't have an educational component. And so even though there's a pandemic, we've done some really cool stuff. <laughs> and we're kind of using this as an opportunity to go digital, which is something that we've actively avoided for a really long time. And now one of the cool benefits is that we've got video evidence for a lot of the things that we do because we've got so many like family and friends that just have never seen any part of speak about it. And so this is a cool opportunity. So we're gonna show you some of those videos, a couple of clips. Um, but before we do that, I just want to say a little bit about the programs, right? And so speak about it started as a five person performance at Bowdoin College. Um, there was in the slideshow, a little picture that has that Bowdoin. I began to scream about Bowdoin. <laughs> and anyone here that is a Bowdoin person probably did the same. Um, so yeah, it started as a performance of Bowdoin about, uh, it actually it's really born from the movement to stop just saying like no means no and start talking about yes means yes and start focusing a little bit more on healthy sexuality, not just what happens when things go wrong. And so we're talking about like healthy relationships, boundaries, consent, communication, what feels good and healthy and right in a relationship. And so the performance is that, and we're gonna, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. What you have now is one of the cool offshoots. We've done so many other types of programs that people don't even know about at this point. So we've gone into bars and restaurants and talked about how do you address and prevent instances of bias and harassment. We've gone into retirement homes, talked about sex in your later years. We've talked to parents about how to talk to your kids about sex. We have so many programs. So many. I, I know, <laughs> and that's not even all of them. That's the bananas part. And so what we're about to show you is um, one of the offerings that was born specifically from the needs of the pandemic. And this one is kind of, um, think like a call-in talk show. <laughs> and so we're refer referring to these as our modules. And basically what we did was we thought about what are all the questions that we get most often from just any participants really. And we had some of our educators this past year record themselves asking questions. And then myself and the brilliant, wonderful, I don't wanna say perfect, but I'm not gonna not say perfect, Ella Mock. <laughs> joined me and just like Ella really knocked out of the park and so here we're going to start with that uh, little module clip for you. All right hello there virtual friends I am Aronde Kruger I'm the program manager for Speak About It. Hi I'm Ella Mock and I'm an educator with Speak About It and my pronouns are they them theirs. And my pronouns are he him and his. Oh <laughs> what are we talking about today Aronde? Oh something so sexy uh -huh. so juicy so Ooh. futuristic. Whoa. <laughs> We're talking about technology. Great. <laughs> so, so let's jump right in. I think we actually have a question right from the get-go. Splendid. How am I supposed to have a sex life if we're supposed to be social distancing? Real talk. Good question. Good question. Something many of us have thought uh -huh. many times. <laughs> so I think it's helpful to remember that like a lot of people had to have sex lives from a distance before this was ever a thing or had to have romantic lives from a distance before this was ever a thing. So maybe we can look at some of the options that existed far before now. And I think the most common one is probably sexting. You know, yes. plain old sexton. <laughs> Garden variety sexton. <laughs> um, will you explain the what is sexting? What isn't sexting? <laughs> <laughs> sexting is all. That's what I want to know. So sexting can be um, text or images or videos that are outright sexual or maybe even just suggestive or intimate in nature. I think you've also made an argument for emojis. I will never stop making that argument. <laughs> I think that like so something like the eggplant emoji, right? Yeah. Like who's used that for actual like vegetables? Like it is almost well, exclusive. Okay. <laughs> no shame if you have. <laughs> but I think that emojis definitely count because like it is still like a visual representation of sometimes like some more like sexual things. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So th that is one of our modules, and that's been surprisingly well received. We were so worried about like is this going to feel personal? Is this going to feel? Um, Oh, the charisma translate all these things and like even just seeing love in this chat is like oh good <laughs> this is <Whoa>. terrible <laughs> yeah so it's really nice um one of the things that's really beautiful is that like how we made that was because speak about it looks really really intensely at the feedback that we get so after every show we try to ask folks like what did you think right like how did that feel did that feel like it was relevant to your lives what would you like to see that would be more relevant for you and one of the big things that we hear about frequently is that people get it right like it's what is it 2020 like they know that like consent is good sexual assault is bad but like what else right and so one of the big things that teenagers are wondering about is 
what does all of this look like when I'm in a relationship with someone? Like, is it possible to like love someone and be with them, but maybe have a dynamic that's a little less than healthy? And that's a big departure from like really what the show was years ago. And one of the adjustments that we're really, really excited about. And so this clip um, is gonna show a couple that was in a relationship and just show about how you can love someone and care about them, but maybe still sometimes have some actions that are a little bit unhealthy. Hey, Ella. How was class? Oh, yikes. Um, I think I flunked that stats quiz. Oh, that sucks. Why don't you come over here? I'll make it better. I think I really just want to, like, take a shower and put my PJs on. Oh, you want some company in that shower? Not really. I'll be back in, like, 15. Oh, come on, man. It feels like you've been in class all day and I'm working all weekend. This is really our only chance to spend some time together. Yeah, I just really want to wash off the day and take a nap. Or don't you want to get a little dirty first? Not really, no. Dude, are you not into me or something? Okay, come on. What? I just really feel like you're pressuring me and I'm not in the mood and it's stressing me out. Okay. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I just really feel like you're not getting it. No, you're right. Uh, I shouldn't have. I, I've just been feeling really stressed about what's in the news now, you know? That makes sense. That really sucks. And I just need to know that you're hearing what I need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't have pressured you. Is there anything you'd like to do tonight? Honestly, a good old-fashioned snuggle sesh sounds really nice. Okay, great. Snuggle sesh. No pressure as well. <laughs> it's on my calendar. Sounds really great. You're great. Aw, that's really cute. So again, Ella Mock being a phenomenal educator. And also, gonna say it, that's one of my best friends in there too, Khalil Lasaldo. Yay. Um, so that's really cool. Thank you all so much for going on that like little journey with us. We talked about showing the clip from the original show when Catherine and I first met before we lived together, before we were yeah. in the same city. Yeah. Um, it is a doozy. Yes. So we yeah. did. In, in the words of director Dave, who also watched it with us, he went, that's a little rough. <laughs> Have so, fun. Yeah, so we're not going to show you that. <laughs> um, but if you're interested or you want to know more about the programs or anything that I talked about, um, please feel free to reach out. My inbox is always open for folks.